guys, it's Michelle. I wanted to do a little bit of a different video. It's a collection video, but um, I've never seen anybody do this, but I tend to like this product more than like body washes. So um, when I see ones that I find interesting, I pick them up. So if you haven't figured out from the title yet, this is my soap collection video. Um, I started using soap, well, like bars of soap, I should say. Um, I made the switch, I would say about two years ago, my eczema was really starting to get bad because I found that soaps, um, for me anyway, are more helpful than just using um, the shower, the body washes and stuff like that. I don't like, uh, I don't feel clean when I use the body wash anymore. I like the bars of soap better now. Um, that's just my thing. And I feel that it makes a difference in my eczema as well. So. When I find uh, bars of soap with certain ingredients and stuff, I'll pick them up if I find them on sale. Uh, it's just like a little lavish thing as a, like a little treat. I love soaps. So anyway, I want to start with this one. This is made by a local company. And it smells like a spiced jelly bean. I'm not going to mention the name of the company. But it definitely smells like a spiced jelly bean. I'm not sure what it's supposed to smell like. It looks kind of funky. But um, this company makes good soap. I've used their soaps before. And I love it. Next is Lush. Um, I need to get more Lush. I'm very, very low. But the first one is my Mud Flat Soap. This is like my, uh, as you can see, there's not much left. Like my godsend as far as eczema soap. I love this stuff. It's very refreshing. It's a little gritty, which I like. And I, I just think it's very refreshing. Plus I like mud soaps and uh, mud masks in general. This next piece is a delicious soap. This is Honey, I Wash the Kids. Oh my God. Probably one of the reasons why I fell in love with Lush in the first place. Mm. It's just so good. And you can see the honeycomb in there, which oddly enough, in the tub I noticed when I'm in the bath, it doesn't melt that part. Mm. Oh, this is probably going to be, I'm going to need a slice of this next. So, oh, it's so good. Next, I have a sample of dirty soap. I guess this is spearminty. Oh, that's very spearminty. So that's definitely something I gotta do. I gotta order a package from Lush within the very near future because I haven't done that in a while and I'm having Lush withdrawals, guys. You have no idea. Next, my grandmother goes to Atlantic City a lot and she stays at the Trump uh, Taj Mahal. So she's always bringing home tons of these soaps. The, they're just from the hotel. Uh, this is the Gentle Face Soap and it says Trump on it. And this one is Trump Entertainment Resorts Exfoliating Body Soap. This is actually really good stuff. I like this one. It's got a, a nice milky fragrance. But she goes and like she loads up on those things like to no tomorrow. I got a lot of those to go through. Next is like when I went on vacation. This is the Lord and Meyer Traditional Botanical Gentle Soap. Mm. I love the way this stuff smells because it must be a vacation. So this is what it looks like. I mean, again, it's just a hotel soap, but I like taking them with me. I don't like wasting them. And this is really nice. I like this. It's hard to pick just a soap. Now this one I bought on vacation and when I went back, they didn't have it anymore. Otherwise, that's the reason why I'm not using it because I, I love it, but I don't want to use it. It smells delightful. It's called Cape Shore Mermaid Hideaway and the packaging is so, so cute. I love it. Isn't that adorable? Me in the USA. It's just a very beachy scent. Mm, very refreshing. But I haven't used it because when I went back to get more, they didn't have any. And it has a seahorse. It actually looks like a male. It looks like a pregnant male seahorse in the background. That's, uh, see, he looks like a pregnant male seahorse because it's the males that give birth um, to the young in seahorses. I also, at the same time as I got that soap, and they don't have these anymore either, are these decorative 
soaps. They're two mermaids. I got a pink and a purple. They're so super cute. I love shaped soaps. They remind me of my grandparents because they also they always had these triple milled soaps and like seashells and stuff like that. I love them so much. So they didn't have these anymore. So I'm probably gonna hang on to these till they crumble. I just love this kind of thing. Next in the same kind of scene, scheme. Now these are gardenia scented. Oh yeah, they are. And these are little ducks, which I think I hauled. I got these from the Christmas tree shop for like $1.99 or something. Yeah, they were $1.99. I love shaped soaps. Like I said, mine and my grandparents. And you don't find these. I mean, I remember going into places that you used to be able to find like whole racks and you could choose whatever you wanted. But they really don't have those anymore. So when I do come across these things, um, I stock up on them. Plus, I love using them. They're fun to use. Uh, when I was a kid, my grandfather would let me have one special one whenever I went over to use and wash my hands. So that made um, washing up more fun when I was a kid. But I love shaped soap. And I love the triple milled soaps anyway. I typically look for triple milled soaps. I just feel like they're more, uh, they lather nicer and they're more luxurious. Now this one is something that Joey bought. This is by Olay and it's just softer, smoother skin in seven days. This is an okay bar. I came in a package, I can't open it up because I don't know what it looks like. It's got a really nice fragrance. It's not my favorite bar soap as far as soaps go. It's This is the one I use when I'm out of all my other nice ones. Um, Joey will normally use this one. I'm not crazy about it. It's all right, but it has a nice fragrance. Next, and I have used this on my eczema. Um, this is pumice powder lava soap. Now this stuff is harsh, guys. Um, it dries it out, which is what I like, but don't scrub yourself too hard with this. Um, gets extra dirty hands really clean. Cleans away dirt, grime, grease, oil, paint, ink, and adhesives. This is made for like, um, like mechanics and guys like that, that get greasy and really dirty, like they have the oil stained on them. Uh, this is the type of soap. My dad uh, is a mechanic and he's worked on tugboats and stuff like that. And they get pretty dirty, so he uses a pumice base cleanser on his hands. And I do like this stuff, it does work. Don't use it every day. But I like it because it's an ex I use it as an exfoliator. It's not the smartest move, I know, but I do. Next, these are two more fun soaps before I get into the other lavish ones. I have this one. I actually got this at Walmart a long time ago. I know when Christmas comes now that literally the soaps are like half this size. They're like really tiny now. But I've gotten this for a dollar and I wish I'd gotten more of it because it's so pretty and it's full of glitter. And it says princess on it. This is so pretty. I love this. I love glycerin soaps as much as I love the triple mold. And here's another one. It came, of course, around Christmas as well. And I got this on clearance, but it says naughty. Isn't that cute? They had naughty and nice, but the nice bar was literally, obviously, half the size. So for a dollar, wouldn't you go with the bigger one? So I went with the naughty. And I actually got this one after Christmas. So I think I paid 50 cents for it, but it was originally a dollar. So... I will eventually use it. It's starting to get a little old, but that's okay. Next is this three pack of soaps that I recently just bought from the Christmas tree shop. I'll take them apart so you can see what they are. Oh, they're glued together. So, oh. Oh wow, I shouldn't have done that. Um, the first bar is coconut. The second bar is lime. I actually thought this bar was olive oil, but I'm actually even more excited that it's a lime. And then the back bar is almond. And I love the smell of almond soap. So I'm really excited that there is a lime in there. I originally thought it was olive, so. I will do a review on these guys when I try them out. 
And they were only $1.99 too for three. I thought that was an awesome, awesome deal. The rest of these, I believe, all came from uh, like TJ Maxx. This one came from TJ Maxx and I paid $3.99 for it. This is an almond massage bath soap with apricot seeds. And it's got this coral on here, which is really pretty. And you can see right there, almond with apricot seeds. And if you can look, I'll just take this off for a second. It's a huge bar of soap. Look at that. Here in my hand. And it's got these little massagers. So you just rub it in. And it's got apricot seeds on it. So it's exfoliating as well. Oh, I love the smell of almond. Mm -mm. And I love the packaging on this too. So I've never used a massaging soap bar, so this is gonna be a lot of fun. Now this one, I literally got it on clearance for a dollar. And this is an autumn harvest scented bath bar. And it comes in this beautiful packaging. And it's actually a stained glass. I know you probably can't see it, but if you look through it, it's actually really super pretty. Mm. And the reason why is because the box itself um, doesn't sit very nicely, but that's okay. For a dollar, I'm not complaining. Um, the bar soap's really big. Look at how big that is. And it's got this pretty tree on it. And this definitely has a um, a spice pumpkin smell, very similar to the sweet cinnamon pumpkin. It's um, a little bit more cinnamony though. But I thought that was a super awesome deal. I was extremely excited um, to get that for a dollar. Plus the packaging is adorable. We're almost done. Next is from the Scottish Soap Company. The Scottish Fine Soaps Company. Now the box is just so pretty. Now this one is a seven, um, compared to 15, but I paid $8 for this one at Marshall's. But what caught my attention was it was an oatmeal soap. It's finest triple milled uh, soap bars made in Scotland. So these are what they look like. As you can see, I've used one already. These things are incredible. They smell great. And they are the perfect size. Now you would think that this little bar of soap wouldn't last very long. It took me months to kill this thing and I used it every darn day. Mm, it smells so good. And because of the oatmeal, it's very good for your skin. And I know what it's because I did use it during the winter time. It did definitely help my eczema out. And this was great. The formula is wonderful, lathered beautifully, lasted a long time, and they smell great. So I was really impressed with this uh, company. It was the first time I've ever used soap from these guys. I know that there is a lemon bar that Pink Sparkles likes to use. And when I saw this in the oatmeal, I remember how she raved about that bar. I'm like, well, you know what? She thinks these guys are pretty good. So I was like, I guess I'll give them a try too. And I'm really glad I did. I will definitely be buying more soaps from that company in the future. Now this one I bought for Joey, but I have a feeling he's not going to use it. Um, I'm going to like put it like over there in the shower so you can like look at it. But this is a luxurious pumpkin soap and the packaging is beautiful. This bar of soap is massive. And this smells almost exactly like the Harvest one I have. But look at this thing. It's got this beautiful pattern on it. But as you can see, that is a huge bar of soap. You'll be bathing till next millennium with this. It's got a really nice spicy smell to it. I love the boxes that these soaps come in from TJ Maxx and Marshalls. They're just so cool. And the last one I recently got, this is another Tripper Milled bath soap that I got on clearance for $3. It's got my initial on it, and this is an almond scented soap. Oh my gosh, and I love how big these bars are. They're huge, and for $3, you can't go wrong with that. 
Mm, I can't wait to use this bar soap. I love these. They really do last a long time. Plus the boxes are really cute. You can use them as keepsakes. What I sometimes like to do with these boxes, if I'm mailing something in an envelope, I will actually save these boxes and put little trinkets in there and mail them that way because these boxes are pretty strong. So I don't like throwing things out if I don't have to. So that's what I'll use these boxes for that my soaps come in because they're really nice, strong boxes. And if you put tissue paper and everything in there, it keeps everything nice and safe. So guys, oh wait, no, I got one more. Well, not one more, but they come in this little thing here. It was a gift that my mother gave me. These are peppermint bath soaps. And the packaging is really cute. This can come right off, so this doesn't have to stay there after all the soaps are gone. I can use it for something else. They smell so refreshing. Now these guys are tiny. I'm kind of wondering how many uses I'll get out of one of these guys. It says bath soap, so I'm assuming, you know, you can use these in the shower. These aren't just for like hand washings. And there are flecks of something in there, so I'm hoping that these guys are exfoliators. Um, I will do a review on them when the time comes. But it has such a refreshing scent. I love peppermint oil. But I, I hope they, they last me a bit because normally when they're this small, they don't last very long. Like, I mean, sometimes with the Lush ones, you can get two uses out of them, which is great. Mostly it's just one. But I'm hoping to get some decent use out of these guys. But we'll see. Um, my mother gave it to me. She had some leftovers from her Christmas party. And the packaging alone is worth it. I could put cotton balls or whatever in here afterwards. It's so cute. I love cute bath stuff and oh my gosh, I love it. Anyway guys, now that is it for my massive soap collection. I know this is a weird thing, but when I find them on sale and stuff like that, are really cute shaped ones like this, I have to pick them up, especially if they're like a dollar. You can't go wrong with that. So I hope you enjoyed this video, kind of something different and probably considered weird as well. But I will see you all soon. Take care guys. Bye.